My name is Marco, and I present you a small project I've been working on in the last month. Uh, the idea is uh, to um, build a layer on top of Python pandas, which I spend a few words to describe you what it is for those who don't know. Pandas is a Python library uh, for making data analysis. It's, of course, written in Python, slash, oops, too early. <laughs> uh, and it's based on NumPy. And it is part on R. R is a um, po very popular, quite popular uh, language to make data analysis. And uh, the problem with R is uh, that it is very specific. So uh, Python Pandas is a library to have a most, more general purpose language to work with. It's very inspired on R. Uh, the, the main data structure is the data frame, which is basically a heterogeneous matrix uh, by the uh, data type point of view. You can hold different data types in different columns. And Pandas introduced some improvements to the data frame, uh, which, are, which is multiple level indexes, and uh, uh, some optimization when working with time series. Uh, there are many pros in using Pandas. Good performance, because uh, critical code is written in C, so it's, uh, uh, it's very fast when, when making merge operation, group by operation, and of course uh, uh, all the numerical uh, function. It has in intelligent data alignment because uh, different columns uh, are actually hold in different matrices. Each one has its own data type and so the, the alignment is kept uh, consistent. But uh, it is still quite hard to explain to someone who's not a computer scientist, someone who has not a computer science background, how to efficiently work with uh, such a tool. So <laughs> this is a small vicious cycle that is, uh, I found myself in. Uh, those that are interested in making that analysis usually don't know what to do, don't know how to make that analysis. And these are journalists, uh, uh, company managers, and such. So uh, they, they ask uh, statistic statisticians to make that analysis, but statisticians usually don't have the right tools to do, do, to do so. And they have to ask computer scientists to help them. If the communication fails, this is the result. Uh, good analysis, but which uh, was the question? It actually happened to me. Uh, so the goal was to uh, build a, a, a layer on top of pandas to make things easier and to make things more scalable and reproducible. Uh, what do we have to do? We have to uh, define which uh, uh, columns in a data frames should be used as dimensions. Uh, which columns are calculated from uh, uh, other columns and uh, introduce uh, a do what I mean behavior in some function, uh, specifically in merging operations and in aggregating operation, which uh, we call uh, roll up. Uh, then there are some statistical function mainly used with time series uh, that are quite always the same, even though they are quite complex to implement to, uh, to some, someone who has not uh, a computer science background. And finally, there is uh, no need of a, uh, of a data analysis if we cannot produce uh, some reports of it, if we cannot present uh, the result in a human readable way. So, uh, the project consists basically in uh, a meta metadata structure around the pandas data frame. Uh, this metadata describes what I just said, so uh, gives uh, a role of, uh, to, to each column of a data frame, and uh, um, an engine try to, uh, to find out what to exactly uh, the, the user want to do 
with this data. Uh, so this is uh, the basic uh, uh, first step to use uh, to use uh, star uh, with pandas. I can load the data from many different type of uh, of files or uh, database. This is just one case from a CSV file. Then I put uh, my data frame inside the star object, and the star uh, star framework adds a default metadata, or I can pass a metadata structure that I have built before. This metadata is basically uh, is built uh, with uh, Python dictionaries. And in this dictionary, I describe the type of columns, so the dimensions, which can be used in Python indexes, but the user don't know anything about this. So uh, the system just defines the indexes uh, when it's the right time to do it. Uh, numeric column, well, that's quite obvious. Uh, immutable values are labels or other values that are always the same for a specific dimension. And finally, elaboration. Elaborations are columns that are calculated like uh, as a function of other columns. And uh, uh, when I do further, uh, further um, elaboration on, on raw data, this must not be messed up. So they should be reevaluated when the original data changes. This is just a basic idea behind dimensions. Uh, it's a typical uh, star structure in which data are in the center and uh, dimensions, definitions, and levels are linked together in a star shape. Uh, typically, this is used for aggregation operation and uh, to change uh, uh, level. Uh, the typical case is city, country, and region, uh, which can be easily switched with uh, just one function call. Elaboration in pandas, as I said, a new column can be defined as a function of other columns. Just, this is just a basic example. And with star, the same thing is defined with a slightly different uh, syntax, uh, with tell the system how the column should be uh, re-evaluated re every time the original value changes. Or uh, when I do aggregation that, uh, uh, that uses these values. And finally, there is a small reporting engine. Uh, this reporting engine lets you define templates in LaTeX or HTML. Uh, we leave in placeholders for data representation. Data can be represented in tabular form or graph. And uh, uh, there is the project to, to build an automatic stacks uh, generator. Uh, graphs, particularly, are interesting because uh, I tried to leave space to build um, more modules based on matplotlib and build different type of graphs. Uh, by now, there are just simple type of graphs, like uh, uh, simple plots, uh, uh, bar graphs, uh, and, and scatter. But more can be added quite easily if you, if you know uh, Matplotlib API. Uh, this is the, the, the basic uh, usage. You call a, a, a Python script, uh, start reporting engine, uh, call in a folder containing both the template in LaTeX or HTML and uh, data in form of Python pickles. So uh, you save uh, your uh, your objects, your star object as Python pickle in a, in a folder, and uh, you can easily produce a report. Or if you can, or if you want to produce multiple reports with different uh, data set, uh, but always the same uh, template. You can just accessing the API of, of, uh, of uh, the uh, star reporting engine. What uh, I want to do from here? First of all, as I said, uh, the automated text generator should be 
implemented maybe using uh, Shikit Learn or some other machine learning tools. I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, more plotters, much more plotters. Uh, evaluated record handling, which is quite the same thing that evaluated columns, but uh, should work on records instead of columns. And uh, maybe integrated with stat model to let uh, define uh, um, statistical models to apply to the data. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> if there are you, any questions? Uh, the idea is something to analyze data and produce uh, a descriptive text of it, a short descriptive text of it. Actually, by now, there is a small uh, feature that does this, but it just says it's, uh, you, you define a range, some ranges, and it tells back uh, if uh, uh, data are in a good range, in a medium range, or in a low range. That's it. Okay, thank you.